As a winemaker now, people tend to look to me to taste for the table, which used to be an incredibly intimidating process. One way that you can always look professional and actually really um, be able to tell is SST. Swirl, smell, taste. Rosé is when you peel the skin off the grape earlier and it's a cold fermentation. If it's too dark, I know it's going to be just not my style. I think a rosé should have that inherently Pavlovian to women, peachy pink quality that just draws us in. Somehow, I don't know what it is about us girls, but we love pink. <laughs> when you smell a wine, you're talking about the nose that it has. The more you drink wine, the more of a pseudo onophile you will become. Uh, whereas if I have a cocktail, I feel like I learn nothing. I just enjoy it. What I love pairing rosé with food-wise is anything from a picnic basket with apples and brie and baguettes to uh, a really delicious spicy Thai dinner so that the rosé is incredibly cooling. Same with Pinot Grigio. Um, I like Pinot Grigio with sushi, actually. Rosé is very perennial to me. I do like a light, easy drinking wine. Also, wines that feel very clean um, and actually make your whole body feel good after numerous glasses is a really big telltale sign for me and the absence of that cloying sugar and sweetness really contributes to that really beautiful clean ability to enjoy it without feeling heavy and or hungover kind of important cheers to this toast to that be celebratory about it life is short